He was one of the FBI's 10 most wanted fugitives, and authorities say he was behind an assassination in South Lake's town square back in 2013. Now, they say the man known as El Gato is in custody. CBS 11's Brooke Rogers today with the details from South Lake. It's been nearly 10 years since 43 year old Juan Jesus Guerrero Chapa was murdered here in the middle of the day while shopping with his wife. And now the man who allegedly ordered the hit is behind bars in Mexico. It was a crime that rocked South Lake and stunned North Texas. To have somebody gunned down in a shopping center uh, while he and his wife are, are shopping, you know, for, uh, for items in an upscale shopping center was quite shocking. It's the victim, 43-year-old Juan Jesus Guerrero Chapa, was allegedly a lawyer with the infamous Beltran Leva drug trafficking organization in Mexico, as well as a U.S. government informant. And while there have been several convictions in the case, the man believed to have ordered it remained at large. The Mexican authorities, the U.S. authorities, and Interpol have been working on this case really since May of 2013. Uh, and, and it's not over at this point. Jose Rodolfo Villarreal Hernandez, known as El Gato, faces charges of conspiracy to commit murder for hire and interstate stalking, according to a federal indictment. He was added as a top 10 fugitive in 2020. Former United States Attorney Paul Coggins says the arrest of a cartel leader shows members the lengths the two countries will go to for justice. The federal authorities in Mexico and the federal authorities in the United States can and will work together to bring uh, down organizations, not just from the bottom up, but from the top down as well. Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News.